Hey guys, I'm Quinn. I'm Brody. And today we're gonna show you how to install our integrated winch system on a 2015 to 2018 Ram Rebel. So Brody and I have laid out all the components of the winch kit system here. Uh, included in the winch kit is this main mount which uh, holds the winch, the fair lead bracket which attaches to the winch plate, two frame reinforcement brackets. These tie back into the frame, making it a lot stronger, uh, as well as our instructions and a full hardware kit to install it. We also have as an option two six inch light bars and a left and a right mount to go on either side of your winch so you can light it up. Sold separately is the winch itself. Uh, this one here is a 12,000 pound winch from Smittybilt XRC series. Uh, we also sell worn winches as well. So before you start, you want to park your Rebel on a flat surface. Apply your parking brake. Next thing you want to do is chalk your tires and pop the hood and disconnect your negative terminal with a 10 mil socket. So the easiest way to get to the bumper to remove it is by removing the grill. Uh, to do that, you've got to first remove this cowling, which is held in place by these plastic snaps that pull out with a special tool or a little flathead screwdriver that's formed over. So we got that out of the way. Uh, then we want to remove these top four fasteners, 10 mils on the side, as well as there's two uh, 8 mil fasteners hiding on either side. So just remove this inner fender well uh, cover. Uh, two snaps right here that are your standard little clip and then three 8 mil fasteners on the side here and then one at the bottom. So before you remove the bumper there's a fog light switch or connector right here that just needs to be disconnected. So with the grill removed we got the inner uh, fender panels removed uh, fog lights disconnected, it's now time to remove the front bumper. Uh, it's held on with six 18 millimeter nuts. Uh, easiest way to access the top one is through the top here and the bottom two on either side, four in total, uh, from underneath the bumper. So we're going to remove that now. Let's remove the bumper and just lay it down on a soft surface. So we've got the bumper removed. And we've got the two tow lugs removed. Uh, so now it's time to start actually installing the winch mount. Uh, so pre-assembly first. We've got our main winch mount here. Uh, first step is to take the socket head cap screw uh, and install it into these two holes here. This is pre-assembled. It's held in place with a retaining washer. So simply slide it in through there. Flip the unit over. Take your retaining washer, slide it on, and then with the 5 8 deep socket, depress it all the way on. Hold it down, and press it in. That holds it in place. Okay, so next step is to install our fairly mount onto the winch base. Uh, easily done with uh, half inch by inch and a half, grade eight hardware. So we put the washer on, in the hole of the fair lead mount, line the fair lead center up with the hole in the winch mount plate. Drop it through the back. On the back side, washer, lock washer, and nut, and repeat for the other side. Next step is to install the winch. So the winch gets installed on the back side of the winch mount here. Uh, keep in mind this is the top. And we're gonna position the winch so the cable spools in and around the top. Uh, so on this winch, it shows that this wire spools, aesthetic line spools this way. So we are going to mount the winch in this orientation, uh, just using the included hardware. Here's the completed assembly. We've got the winch 
on the back, torque to spec. We just uh, center in the holes here. Essentially, you want to line the top of this uh, drum up with the slot in the fair lead. Uh, so the winch is all torqued up to manufacturer specs. We've got the fair lead installed, the 3 8 pins on the back installed. Uh, now we're going to prep the frame uh, and the bumper for installation. So we supply uh, half inch grade 8 carriage bolt hardware uh, to replace the stock 18 mil hardware that comes in the bumper uh, because it's significantly stronger. Now this is one millimeter bigger so it's a bit of a tight squeeze through these frame rails, frame holes. So what we're going to do just with a hand file or die grinder but it's only a little bit so hand file will work. Uh, just take off just enough so that the new hardware can slide through easily. A little bit more. One last little thing we have to do to uh, prep this bracket for install is depress this little tab that's on the pat or sorry driver's side. Uh, frame horn. Uh, so that's so our frame reinforcement bracket, which mounts under here, can snug up there. And to do that, just grab a clamp. And press it back into the frame horn. Winch mount is prepped, the truck's prepped. Last thing we need to do is prep the bumper. Uh, we're gonna re replace, as I mentioned earlier, this 18 millimeter stock hardware with uh, half inch grade eight carriage bolts. Uh, also what we're gonna be doing is installing our optional LED lighting kit and we'll show you how that bolts right in. So first thing to do is remove all these T45 torques so we can pull these buckets out. Now we're going to take a hammer and just remove these three pins and replace them with the new hardware. So just with a mini sledge, secure your piece, knock it out, uh, take the new hardware, slide the carriage washer over top of it, come in for the back side, make sure that the square piece slide, sits in there properly and slides. Take our retaining washer, put it on over top, and then with a deep socket, three quarter works, just depress it so it's held in place. So before putting those mount brackets back in, uh, we've got to make room for the fair lead. A uh, couple different options here. Uh, we've got customers that will just slit this plastic section here in the middle. Just enough room for the fair lead so you can lay your fair lead over here in the center, trace it out and cut it out. Uh, if you're installing our light kit, then this entire plastic piece needs to come out. Uh, and a no cutting alternative is to also just remove the entire plastic piece uh, and that will allow room for the fair lead. Uh, so to remove the plastic piece, to modify it, or to remove it entirely, uh, remove this uh, wiring harness. It just clips into these spots here. Uh, there's seven millimeter fasteners on the bottom side that screw out. So remove all five of those. And then there's some snaps that also hold it in right here. So just with a tool, pull that snap out. Just like that, depress that and pull it out. So remove that row up top and uh, it'll come right out.
center section removed. So if you uh, purchased our LED lighting kit, uh, the next step is to install the light brackets. Uh, they install with the factory hardware and factory positions uh, in the bumper here. Uh, so what you want to do is remove the second and third piece of hardware in from each end. So that's that one, that one for the passenger side, that one, that one for the driver's side. The brackets have a D for driver or P for passenger. Uh, the lettering faces the outside of the vehicle. So to install, take the hardware back that you removed. And with your ratchet, it's a T45 fastener head. Just snug that back up. So these are the light bars that come uh, with our lighting kit. Uh, six inches, it's got uh, spotlights in the center and floodlights on the outside. It's got an IP68 waterproof rating, throws out a ton of light, uh, lifetime warranty on them, uh, and they fit right in with our brackets. So the brackets are here are installed. Uh, we also supply hardware with the kit to install it into the brackets. Uh, so simply place the light into the bracket that you just installed. It's on slot so you can center it and move it around so it sits in the bumper as nice as possible. And just snug them up. So we got both light bars installed in the bumper now. Uh, just need to tidy up the wires a bit, uh, including the fog light wires that are stock in here. So uh, just zap strap. Tie the factory harness, give that a little bit of room right there. We'll be able to plug these in uh, once the bumper's on uh, with our wiring kit. We're gonna tuck the frame mount bucket back into the bumper and refasten it. Time to throw the winch system on the truck. Uh, so we've got our assembly here, the mount, the winch, uh, fairly it all put together. Uh, the frame itself, we've clearanced these holes slightly to allow it to go on. Uh, next step, throw the hardware that you took out of the tow lugs. Uh, it's this horseshoe shaped uh, bolt retainer. It's gonna drop right in the backside of this winch plate on the bottom on both sides. Take that in. Uh, two person job. Uh, so Brody and I are gonna lift this on the vehicle. The 3 8 stud that sticks out of the back is gonna go in this hole right here, one down from the top. Uh, on the inside, uh, we are gonna hold this unit in place uh, using uh, supplied half inch hardware. Uh, we're gonna put it through the bottom hole here on either side of the frame. And from there we can install the rest of the bracketry. So that was secured in place. Next step is to install the frame mounts. So uh, now it's time to install our frame reinforcement brackets. These beefy brackets tie the winch base into the tow lug base. Uh, top hole here slides over that 3 8 stud. Like so. 
that mounts just below there. Tow lug sits under that and slides into stock hardware position there. And lastly, slide the washer, the lock washer, and the nut over that stud. Easiest done by getting it at it from the top. So 9 16 socket on the back for the 3 8 nut. Uh, before we crank it down, we're going to line up these holes so the bumper can pass through properly. So that's lined up there. I'm going to hit it. And repeat on the other side. So we spooled up the winch. Uh, do that to the manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, just we ran the power cables from the winch up in behind the bracket here, through in beside the headlight, up into the battery. Uh, so we've got full power to the winch. Uh, next step, we get to throw the bumper on. Uh, take a half inch fastener and just run it through the holes. Make sure that everything fits uh, on both sides. This is gonna make your life a lot easier when it comes to install the bumper. If it doesn't fit through, make any adjustments. You might have to shift the mount from side to side, up and down, or that bracket in behind. Uh, so another multi-person job. Uh, so Brody and I are gonna lift it on. Uh, gotta pass the hook through the bumper. So give yourself enough room. Position the tow lug so they go through the hole. And we're securely on. All right, getting close now. Got the bumper on. We uh, snogged up each nut, set the bumper height. So we got a thumb gap is a good rule of thumb in between. Uh, so you can, with it just snugged up, you can kind of push it up and down. I know a lot of the factory come a little uneven. Uh, wired the lights. So follow the same routing for the winch. Connected the relay up on this post here. Uh, you want to mount it in this location in general. It gives you enough room to route the switch into the cab as well. It's close to the battery for the connector and the fuse. Follow the same lines down here, in around, in beside the headlight. Ties in, plugged in to the two lights that we installed earlier. Just spooled up a little of the cable there uh, to take up any slot and zap strapped it in place. Uh, bumpers on, we torch it up to about 50 foot pounds. Uh, that's about as tight as you can get with a half inch drive uh, socket. Uh, and yeah, so we routed the cable, <coughs> the wire in for the switch through the lower grommet which the parking brake cable goes through. If you follow me into the cab. It's up underneath and behind. Ran it in behind here. Uh, there's a little pop-out panel right here. And this pops out. <clears throat> you can drill it out with a step drill. Take it out of the cab, obviously to drill it and install it, but we've got power. And we've got like, these things are insanely bright. Good for our uh, winners. Last step, we're gonna install the grill the same way it came off, it slips in, pushes into these retentions here. Two fasteners on either side, boom, boom, boom on the top. And then we're gonna throw the top panel back on and it's all buttoned up. So last thing to do, we gotta set the tension on this rope. Uh, so we're just going to pull this Subie up the hill. Test it out. So that 
completes the install of our uh, Ram Rebel winch kit. Uh, you guys can buy them online, www.vicedesign.ca. Uh, give me a call at the shop, 250-591-2747. Yeah, get you set up. Right on.